When dyeing yarn, the colors can look a lot more saturated while the yarn is still wet than they do when it's dry. And this particular yarn is a really good example of that. I dyed a variegated base on this yarn using the colors platinum and blued steel, and you can absolutely see the gray in the pan and it's still there when I start adding the speckles on the yarn. It actually looks really dark when I was speckling the yarn. But even though the gray had already been set, the lighting also makes a difference from the way the color looks because that color doesn't look quite as saturated when I went to go wash the yarn. And then once the yarn was dry, I actually forgot that I had used the gray at all until one point when I was filming the conclusions. You can tell that it is there, barely. I know right now I'm focusing more on that gray platinum color, but the blued steel color also looks way less saturated once it's dry than it was when it was wet. And I think that different lighting can also make a difference in how uh, the yarn looks. But anyway, if you like the way yarn looked better when it was wet than it is when it's dry, sometimes you just need to use a little bit more dye in that wet stage. Check out Dye Pot Weekly 563 to watch me dye these alpaca and alpaca silk blends.